Hi right, guys, Ballistic Expansion here again, coming at you in a nice hot summer day out here. We're shooting in a kind of semi-long range today. We got a .223 bolt gun out. I'll pan over for you guys to see it. This is the Remington. It's just a 55 grain full metal jacket, standard factory load. And uh, let me get a view of the gun here. Connor's going to take the first few shots. It's a Savage Model 10. It's got a Nikon Monarch scope on it. It's pretty nice. Mm -hmm. Shoots good. We got some uh, really nice groups out of it earlier. Yeah, we'll have to show them the groups. Yeah, maybe we'll get a shot of that for you guys. All right, here we go. Let me zoom in here on the jugs. This camera's kind of ticky. All right, so Connor's gonna be going for that far right jug for the first shot. Ready? Uh, all right, Connor. When you're ready, go for it. Take your time. Ready? Yep. Oh, nice. Wasn't quite the explosion I was expecting. Uh, right between the eyes, though. <laughs> yeah, we got smiley faces on them. You guys probably can't see them, though. That scope, you can see pretty much everything. Alright, he's gonna go. If you can see, you can't really see my finger. Right beneath that other milk jug is a Dr. Pepper bottle we have laying on its side. He's gonna go for that now. I think he shot over it. Shot over it? Yeah. It was supposed to be standing up, but then it fell when we left. <laughs> Just uh, make sure you guys know we're shooting at about uh, 190 yards, pretty much 200 right now. Shoot for the spinner. Hmm? Go for the spinner now. Okay. You guys can see that orange spinner in between that uh, Sprite bottle. It's a, a what they call it, Duracell target. I picked up at Walmart the other day. That's pretty good, but I actually managed to just uh, break it in half by the time I shot it. He's going to have to... Oh, he hit it. It doesn't spin as much as I'd like it to. I don't know, maybe it would spin a little bit more with something slower, like a 22 at close range. Alright, there you go, let me take a shot, some shots. Here we go. Good. I don't know if you missed. I think I nicked it. Maybe. Something came up behind it, or you hit it. You gonna shoot it again, or where are you shoot next? Uh, thinking about that spot ball. If I can hit this, guys. I'm kind of new to this gun, so we'll see what happens. There we go. Got that one. That was cool. Sorry about the dogs, guys. They're right here beside us, they're getting kind of riled up. They're like, ow, my ears. Yeah, alright. <sighs> Going for the fire extinguisher now, this should be pretty impressive. You got a good shot on it? Mm -hmm. Yep. <sighs> the fire extinguisher is on the right, isn't it? No, it's on the far left. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's the spinner on the right. Yeah. You good? Yep. Here we go, guys. Send it. Did that hit the left? Uh, I guess. I think I was pulling off the left. My natural point of aim was a little off. Let me try one more time. Um, I saw a kick, I saw a kick up way behind it. I can swear I'm hitting it, I'm not moving. You, you might be hitting it, it may just go, be going straight, straight through, through it. it. Yeah. Are you thinking, knock it over though? I don't know, it's, it's cooking. I'm gonna go through that milk jug again, yeah, okay? You on the, one of the, the one of the far left? Yeah. Alright, yeah, cause I don't think I, I can see where I hit it now, I just barely nicked the top of it. Here we go. Yeah, we're gonna let Connor see if he can get that. All right, see if we're here. All right. Okay, let's see here. One more in the gun. Oh, the camera won't focus. There we go. 
So hit the fire extinguisher? Yeah, go for the fire extinguisher. Not lay down here. Did you hit it? I did? Yeah. Aim low on it, that's where all the powder's at. That way we can get a, bit, a little bit better uh, reaction from it. Ready? Yep. Send it. There we go. That's what we are looking for. Got down there where the powder was. Is it bad that I feel like a sniper when I'm doing this? <laughs> that stuff blows up Pretty far in shooting this far. Even though, I mean, it's not too far. Alright, what else do you want to shoot? Uh, where's that Dr. Pepper bottle? I don't think you're gonna be able to hit it, dude. Challenge accepted. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. Make sure I'm zooming out of the way. There you go. <laughs> I think you shot over it again. <laughs> okay. Let's see here. <laughs> yeah, you can't see it good enough to get a good beat on it. That or I'm shooting under it. Yeah, let's not worry about it right now. Shoot a... I want to shoot it again. That's fine, dude. Let's, um... Light recoil. I'm going to shoot the milk jug on the far right again since it's only been hit once. This gun, you know, it's really made for bench rest shooting like this anyways. Yep. You don't want to carry it around in the woods all day. It's kind of heavy. Nope. Not kind of heavy, it is heavy. Shot through it. Yeah. Maybe the water all leaked out by now. Yeah. That's it, isn't it? Yeah. Take a crack of that. The uh, Dr. Pepper. The infamous Dr. Pepper. Yeah. Alright, Mr. Pepper. Hold well, on, let me get on it. Your brain of terror has ended. <laughs> okay, I'm on it, I think. I can't even find it. There it is. Shoot one more time. Right? It's deceiving. It is deceiving. Aim low. Yeah, that's what I was trying to do, but you can't really aim. I mean, it's kind of hard to aim real low. Oh, that barrel's starting to get hot. How many more do you want to shoot at these? <laughs> that may have been a hit. I don't know. It looked left. I was holding the gun while I know that. It kicked off a lot whenever I shot it. I wasn't going to hardly hold it tight at all. Okay, now I'll shoot the rest of these. That's one good thing about this 223, with it being so heavy too and just a small caliber. You can just hold it real light and let it sit on the target and not have to worry about yeah. worry about recoil. It's a prairie dog gun. Yep. Alright, here we go. 7,000 yard gun. I kinda wanna hit the fire extinguisher again. You can't see it, dude. You can still see it through the scope. It's laying on the side. Let me see if I can hold on it first. You got it in frame? Yeah, I think. Ooh, I may not be able to hit it. It's barely sticking out. Let's see. That was a hit, I think. It's hard to tell. Hey. Alright, guys. It's a lot of ammo. That was fun. That was fun. I'll Let me get over the gun ammo. here so you guys can see. You can leave the bath there. Yeah, I know. Watch out, Connor. Well, that turned into a 15 minute video. That was fun, though. You know, time flies when you're shooting like that. Alright, so let's see what we got here. There's a better overview of the gun. Our ghetto shooting platform. Oh, yeah, our shooting mat. It's got the Nikon Monarch on there. What is it, 6 to 20 power? 6 and a half to 20. 6 and a half to 20. The adjustable objective all the way out to 1,000 there. Pretty nice scope. <laughs> really nice funny. gun. Definitely a nice shooter. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you guys around. Be safe. Alright guys, upon further examination with the Bolt 223, we found we hit the fire extinguisher multiple times. 
it looks pretty cool. You can actually see the powder there where the, one of the bullets went through, it appears to be. And it mushroomed the uh, metal out from the back side over there. Mm -hmm. And we got hits. Let me zoom out here. We got hits all over it. Here, stop moving it for a second. Yeah, look at the back, though. Yeah, see, that's the exit right there. So I'm assuming we shot... This goes to show you how fast they are. That's how you've had it. <laughs> you dropped it. But, yeah. Goes to show. Fast the 223 goes straight through yeah. it. Didn't even knock it over. Yeah. Hit it all three times right there. Oh, I think that's another hit right there. I think that's where I hit it, where it was laying on its side. Probably. And then, there's no telling. Those are all the exit wounds right there. Oh yeah, and the Dr. Pepper we hit all the time. Yeah, Dr. Pepper was, surprisingly, we nailed it. Yeah. Couple there. You can't really see it in the sun. Hang on. Yeah. Did I hear you see on the wrapper, at least. Did you pull the wrapper off? Yeah. Oh, well now you can't see the holes. Well, you can't hardly see it anyway. There you go. Hit right there. That was a good group. And then we got some more. We hit like four times, I believe. Yeah. And the water jugs. What else we got? That one looked really impressive, but it didn't do jack squat for damage. I kind of hit it on the angle right there, and it kind of bounced. It just reflected off like that. It hit and went out. It didn't, it didn't go through the whole jug. That's why. The Duras was not very impressive. Of course, it did what it was made to do. You can see that's where he shot at that time. And this is where he shot at earlier target passing, and then... That's where I, uh, hang on, let me flip it over. I clipped it right there, and it, you can see it broke the stand right in half, so. It was 15 bucks at Walmart. So, I mean, the target's really good. The stand it comes on is pretty crappy, but I can rig something up for that. And the Sprite, we did good. It was a dead center hit. Where's the hole at? Right there, you can see it on the edge of the wrapper. And then Connor's water jug, he hit it, too, right here. I thought I hit it between the eyes, but... There's the way the light was coming through. I sh we shot it twice. I shot it once, and then you shot it. We had one hit there, and then we had one that's hit. That's probably my hit there, because it ruptured. Right, and then that's my hit right there. And there's all the damage on the back side. Yeah, there's a the hole. Let's show them that group. See if you... Connor shot this group earlier on a uh, paper. It took us about 15 minutes. We yeah, it took we, us 15 minutes. We took our time, because he was finding a natural point of aim and all that. He got a really nice group out of the gun. So, uh, three shots. let me show you in comparison to like a, let's see, I got a dime here in my pocket, maybe. And I'll show you guys what it looks plug. like. A dime's a little bit easier to universal. See, there's a dime, so they were all, you know, within a dime, if not, you know, actually smaller than a dime, so. Pretty good groups at 200 yards. Not bad at all, just shooting off the bipod. A yep. Harris bipod, by the way. Harris. Alright, so I hope you guys, oh, and that's from the 243 yeah. that we were shooting earlier yeah hope you guys enjoyed the results in the video and i'll see you guys around